Hi everyone and welcome to this course on Next.js, Sanity and Tailwind CSS. We're hopefully going to fly through and make a blog that looks like this. It's nothing too complicated, but it was inspired a little bit by the Twitter blog. Um, so yeah, I just mocked up this little demo. It doesn't doesn't do anything. So let's um, let's get rid of this for now and you know, let's dive into it. So I'm going to make a new directory and I'm going to call it Adam's Cool Blog. I just call it Adam's Blog. That's not be funny. Adam's Blog and let's cd into that and in here I'm going to make a folder for the back end. Um, and then I'm going to cd over into dev, dev cause for flash Adam's blog. I'm just going to do, I'm going to create our next app from then in the background. So now we're in our, when you're in your back end, uh, if you have used Sanity before, then you should have Sanity CLI already installed. If not, if you just run this command, um, and then once you've done that, you can do sanity init. Now we're going to create a new project. I'm going to call it Adam's blog, like so. I'm going to use the default configuration. So I can just hit enter here. You can see the Y is uppercase. That means it's a default option. And that is going to go ahead and create the back end of our website. So we've now got our front end and back end folder. So if I go into our front end, I can see that Next.js has now installed. So that's great. We're up and running with that. So let's just wait for Sanity to finish installing. In fact, what I can do on the front end, I can just do npm install and I want to install Sanity. Um, I want to install the Sanity client. I want to install the Sanity image dash URL and I want to install the Sanity, what's it called, block content to react. I want to install grok and I think that is all we need. Actually, we're going to need react icons. So this is in the front end server. These are all the dependencies that we're going to use. Oh, it's no wonder it's not doing anything. I need to do this. So we're going to use the default blog schema. Now we're going to be making this website as if we are making it for a client. So I'm going to be showing you how to essentially use Sanity as your, your own CMS that you would give to a client um, if you created a website for them. So if someone came to you and said, oh, I want a blog, um, you know, then this is a great place to start. Now, this is a relatively introductory video. You know, we're not going to go into too many in-depth features. We're going to we're going to make a blog. We're going to style it. We're going to make it look pretty. Um, but, you know, we're not going to add pagination. We're not going to add authorization and login so people can create blogs, you know, on the website. Um, you know, we are going to rely on the Sanity CMS to do that for us. So it's, it's an amazing introduction to Next.js sanity we're going to be creating our own home page as a as a singleton so that they can the client will be able to update the data on the home page themselves um so yeah let's get into the back end and we'll get started making our singleton so i'm just waiting for this to finish here real quick so we don't need this um the query language that we're going to be using. Um, if you've used like REST API or GraphQL, um, you know, we're not using either of those. We're going to be using Sanity Client. Um, so you can look at the query language, it's called Grok. Um, this is not a Grok query. There you go. This is how we query with Grok. So that's what we're going to be using to do that. Okay, so we've now got this done. 
so let's open this up in that uh, I definitely don't want that but that's good to know that that does um, so we've got our backend folder now so you can see this is generated this is our sanity project and I'm actually just gonna do sanity start here so that we can uh, run the sanity CMS locally on our computer so that will come on localhost 3333. So we'll wait for that to start. It's going to compile. Um, so we've got everything we need for a blog. We've got authors, we've got categories, we've got posts, and then we've got this blog content, which is essentially the body of a blog post. So we'll get into that and how it works later on. But you can see there's lots of different types of um, things that we can add into our blog content such as um, H1. So essentially, um, we'll get into that later, but this is essentially defining what we can add in the backend CMS and then how we will style it. So we've got, if you've ever done database modeling before with something like Mongoose, um, where you declare models like this, you can see we've got a post model uh, the fields of the model, we've got a title, slug, references, the author, um, which is a separate model, if you like. We've got images, categories, um, which are again references, the published at date, the body of the, the body of the post, and then this preview section, which we're actually going to leave. So the author Again, they've got a name, a slug, image, and a bio, and the categories is just the title and a description. So we actually need to make our own for the homepage content. We're gonna create our own um, model, if you like. So we're just gonna create a new one called homepage.js. Let's just see if this is loaded up. It has, let me just log in over here. Great, so you can see we've got post, author, and category. Totally empty, but as far as the back end goes, you know, this is pretty good. We're pretty pretty much ready, ready to rock and roll and get adding content already. So let's get in there and add our home page. So I'm just I just copied the category. Um because essentially we're gonna name it home page. The title will be home page, and the type is also a document. The fields, we've got a title, a description, and then I'm going to actually add an image on here. So if we just take this image from here and we add it to our home page, we now have an image field on there. And I don't think there's anything else worth adding. So that's our homepage model done. And what we now need to do is configure Sanity Studio to display this. So if you look at this file, this is really how our studio knows where, where to get things. This is declaring our schema. Um, so you're declaring the individual schemas in the files and then pulling them all together in this file. So if we import the home page from home page, like so, and then we can just put home page at the top, then it's rebuilding the client and we now have home page. Now the issue with this currently is that we can actually go ahead and create multiple home pages. Um, and that's not what we want. Um, and we don't want it to be multiple home pages we just want it to be clear there is one home page you can't edit or change any other home pages so what we're going to do is we're going to create our own studio structure um, so let's do that now so if we make a new file called studio structure this is one of the great things about um, about sanity is you can customize absolutely everything so if we do add sanity 
desk tool, I think, and then structure builder. So that's what we want to import and then export default is just going to be, why isn't it like this? Import or from the, okay. So we're now going to say, now this might make a lot of sense at first, um, but the more and more you do this, it, it will start to make sense. And, you know, I've done this for a lot of projects now and it just, it's something that I remember, but when I was initially doing it, I copied and pasted it every time. Um, and you know, you can just copy and paste this stuff every single time. So what we're saying is we're gonna have a list of items. We're gonna call them content. We're then gonna define the items within our studio. So the first one, we're gonna list item. And the first one is going to have the title of home page, like that. And the child of this is going to be uh, s.document. And this s it just allows us to structure. There's lots of, you can see it's given us uh, loads of methods um, here. So we're going to say s.document, dot schema type. And we're going to choose a schema type of home page which is where we set um, the name of it here. Um, schema type is declared here. So the schema type is home page. The document ID is also home page. So that's good. So we've created one item within the list of our studio. If you go and look at your studio now, um, that's not gonna do anything. In our sanity.json file, um, let me have a look at what we need to put in here. I've not done this one in a while. Yeah, so we just need to add another part to it. So I'm gonna add in here a name. It takes a name and a path. So the name of this is going to be part, um, and it's gonna be sanity forward slash desk tool forward slash structure, like so. And then the path is going to be, and that's the studio structure file that we made, dot forward slash studio, it never gives me this on um, autocomplete, studio structure dot js. So now when it rebuilds, hmm, that's interesting. So I was not expecting to have the posts and things like that. Anyway, let's continue. Um, so within our studio structure, in order to actually display the posts, we need to declare them um, as, as part of this list of items that we want to display. So we've, we've declared that we want this single item here. Um, and then we're essentially going to spread the rest of these items into it. So if we say document type, document type list items, um, and we add it here, that is going to merge all of the items that we have. Hmm. Let me just restart the studio. It's not behaving how I'm expecting it right now. So that should have included all of the items we have in our Sanity Studio, including the homepage again. Let's see if that changes anything. Okay, yeah, this is looking more like it now. So if I if I didn't have this, and we go back, it should only display the home page. Yeah, and this is what we want. Remember, before it had like we would add a list of things. Now it's only got one thing, so that's good. So 
now we want to bring back everything else which we've done so now we've got everything but we've got home page twice which is definitely not what we want so we're going to do dot filter and we're going to filter out um, the list item and we're going to filter it like so we're going to say we want uh, to keep everything that's not the home page And you know, that looks a little bit cryptic, um, but that's how you do it. And perfect, so we now have it. So the first thing I am going to do is I'm gonna create our home page. Um, the go to, the go to blog for everything tech. Let's drop in an image here. I can't remember which or any of these are, so let's just drop this one in. And let's publish our homepage. So we do not, I mean, we can't, there's no UI to actually create a new homepage now. Um, but I just want to make sure that that is disabled altogether. So back in our home page, if we add this experimental, experimental actions, and then we just say we only want to be able to update and publish this. Can't delete it, can't make new ones, is what it's saying. There is also, um, you could add create or delete like that. Um, but yeah, we don't want that to happen. So that's good. So you can update it and publish it now. Um, and I believe we're done with our back end. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head off the recording for a minute. I'm going to add in a few blog posts. I am going to, first of all, create a category. I'm going to create an author and then I'm going to create a blog post. Don't worry about images for the author. We're not actually going to be adding that to the UI. But I'm going to add a category, uh, an author, and a post. So feel free to do that yourself, and then meet me back at the next video. I would add about five blog posts.